Hello and welcome to the NASCAR Legends, the 1987 series. We are here at Bristol and here for what I'm sure will be an action-packed event. A um, little worried, you know, practice, the open practice lobby was pretty messy. That's always a little bit concerning. However, uh, I was told by uh, the number one car, who's Mark, who's kind of like a in Nick's community and stuff, for example. He said they had actually a pretty good race here earlier, so that's uh, that makes me feel a little bit better. Maybe it won't be so bad. So tough to get this car around the corners. Giving it my best. I think that was a decent enough lap. Oof. Oh, looks like the first lap was better, as is usually the case with the total up here. Thanks, you too. Pretty close there. So, yeah, it's a... <laughs> He's gotten the sevens. Uh, Mark's in here, too. Like I said, he was saying it was pretty good. Talking to Alex, also as part of the uh, league, though he says he's not going to be there this week, unfortunately. Why are we doing the... Uh... Can I explain... Oh my gosh, can't type. He's just asking a question, I guess, about how it works. So uh, he could sneak a win maybe and get in the playoffs. So long as he's in the top 18, I believe it was. Hopefully I'm not giving out false information, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it is. Um, looks like we got ourselves a good lap. That's pretty cool. So far, P1 and just waiting on the 11. So, hey, might get ourselves a pole position. That's nice. Uh, I did a race last night. I did another race ARCA at Kentucky, which uh, that video should be out by now. Uh, the first one I did. But this was actually the second race I did there because in my first attempt, uh, I didn't do as well with tires as I would have hoped. So I, I did another run and, uh, you know, really focused on saving tires. Really low strength of field. But I did get the win in that. And it was... Uh, my 1,000th race on oval. So that was pretty cool. Get a milestone on that. Yeah. At least that's what I felt. Um... You want to go hard in qualifying on lap one, because that's what I noticed whenever I was going around. I mean, I guess tires aren't really that different, but it really did seem like I had just a tiny bit more grip. <laughs> uh -oh. Tiny bit more grip that first lap. Who knows, though. Give him one final good look. And uh, get ready for this event. I guess we're just waiting uh, the 11. Just hanging out, I guess. <laughs> Wanting to, uh, is he in here? Did he fall out or something? I guess he's in here. That's all right. We'll wait. Only eight more seconds. Um, I really would like to just survive to the end of this one. Obviously, I want a decent finish, too. Uh, 2.0K strength of field. Position. And uh, the number one car. So I will be expected by iRacing to finish well. But it's not like I feel all too confident in this combo by any means. And it could definitely get messy if I'm not careful with uh, navigating around other cars and such. You'll be so this is very much not a guarantee that I'm going to get a good finish. 
I have to make sure that I hit all my marks. Be smart. And uh, hopefully we get some green laps too, because it could easily be lots of cautions. He's... Oh, actually, we won't even have to do a green flag pit stop. I was kind of thinking about that. A lot of times in this car you have to, but it looks like we have about 168 laps of fuel in this thing. And 125 laps to do, so we should be fine on fuel, actually. Um, I didn't practice green flag pit stop. I'm glad I didn't, because we wouldn't have needed to no matter what. But I figured we were going to get cautions anyway, and it wouldn't be needed. And, uh... I guess no matter what, it's not going to be needed anyway. Number six and nine, nine cars are both John, John Deere's. Just putting that out there. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Great information, I, I guess. I didn't even mean to make the meme. I didn't realize what numbers he said. I was just saying, like, oh, that, that's great. I'm glad he shared that information. I don't know. <laughs> right there Probably. in turn four, so Billy Bob was Charlene. Position behind the pace car. I hope I'm able to keep the tires on this thing. It might be tough. I haven't been very good at saving tires since this car updated. A couple seasons ago, I think it was. I was expecting nobody to get it. So this first gear start, maybe it looks like. Oh, cool there. I'm thinking, yeah. First gear start. A little bit of a jump. That's what I think of anybody. Anytime anybody mentions John Deere. Oh, summer night. All right, we're not going to listen to singing here today. <laughs> Why does everyone always sing on the mic? I like the last three races I've done. There's been people singing, and I'm like, man, this is not American Idol. One left to green. <laughs> this is we're here to race. You all have lovely singing voices, but I'm kind of trying to focus here. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a Scrooge. <laughs> So whatever, I can mute it. And they can have their uh, their concert. So, weird, kind of weird start. At Bristol, it'll say, like, get ready, going green here in a second. Or, I don't know, maybe they fix that. Going green. Usually, I, sw I swear it uh, does that much earlier. All right, the pace car is off. Be ready. Go. Green flag, green flag. Come on, didn't really want to cut in front of him there. Go low. Go low. The yellow flag is and out. yellow flag is out. Not too surprised. I think it might be a second gear start. Wow, pace cars. Hauling. <laughs> Drifting around the corner. I love that. I hope they never fix that. Okay, <laughs> I love that the pace car just drifts around the corner sometimes. Let the pace car by. So we had ourselves a wreck. Ah, oh, Alex was in it too. That sucks. Pretty thankful I got my good starting spot because, uh, well, there's no one to wreck in front of me if I'm here. We we're barely able to hold on to our first place position. Mark has so much more experience in these cars than I do, I don't anticipate being able to beat him, but I will give it my best. I know Mark races these cars a lot, and uh, knows a lot about how to get it done, so look out for. Look out for what? <laughs> Talking about, for is Alex. I don't know what Alex needs to look out for, but watch out, I guess. Aren't too many people in here. I think we've got what, like nineteen? I guess there is a full like twenty people. That's that's pretty decently big for the series. I'm just gonna say, uh, looks like we might have lost a couple. Pits are open. Lost a couple people. But still gonna be plenty out on track. Hope that. Watch out for wasn't like the sixth threatening <laughs> retaliation. I promise we don't need help 
adding more cautions to this race. Don't think that's going to be necessary. I'm especially hoping that doesn't happen because the last beat open I did, there was like four different instances of intentional wrecking by like three different pairs of people, and uh, I've I've had enough of that I think for the week. Car is off. Time to do your job. Green, green, green. Yeah, second gear is the way to go, it looks like. So, can we keep the tire on it? That's going to be important. Five's driving in kind of hard. I don't think he's going to be able to... Uh, Keep the tire on it necessarily. Let's see if we can at least hold on to our position, though. But if he makes it around us, that's not a big deal. Inside. Still inside. Don't really necessarily want to just give it to him. It's going to be hard for him to pass on the inside, P2. even if we kind of just easily go around and hold our line up here. So make him work for it, make him use his tires up even more. Hopefully he doesn't run into us, kind of thrusting my fellow driver here to keep it clean. There at the bottom. Not pushing it though. Clear. Alright, it's gonna cut us off. That's fine. Like I said, not gonna worry too much about it. I think driving about as hard as he was, that's not gonna serve him very well over time. Your last lap time was at 16. Trying to get some rotation on throttle on exit, but it just, it, I don't feel it happening. So I've kind of just actually been easing on that. You know, like you generally, like sometimes you really want to try to get that uh, on the car, they're on the right rear. But I just, I feel like I'm just getting right on the right front anytime I try to do that. That's not actually doing me any good, so. P2. some green green laps now though sorry I can't talk today apparently but green laps happening right now love to see it maybe the race will end up pretty good nope I killed it I jinxed it oh darn wow only two sets of tires how about that kind of like it so definitely not coming in for tires yet. If we're only going to get two sets, that's for sure. You got plenty of fuel. As expected, plenty of fuel. <laughs> Mark has acquired a cone. He's going to deliver that via Domino's. Hopefully within 30 minutes or less. Oh yeah, lucky dogs are a thing. I guess I shouldn't be up by the wall. I don't think I've ever seen a worse paint scheme that's black like that. I'm used to the red one that everyone, well not everyone, but like half of everybody has by default. It's interesting to look at. Oh, and it's one of the John Deere's we've heard so much about. Getting a lap back. Now knowing that we only have two tires, I might want to back it down even more. I don't feel like I was being hard on it, but... Definitely going to want to keep these tires happy. 
They don't blow like they used to, but they still definitely matter a whole lot in terms of keeping speed. But that makes me feel a little better there that we had at least a, I don't know, what was it, 10 lap run? Not too bad. Pits are open. I think it should get better over time. At least until we get to the late laps and maybe people start wrecking again, but I hope that doesn't happen either. Should be two degree in here, yes. Feeling okay. Feeling pretty good. I got my brake bias all the way back, by the way. Getting rotation on braking as much as I can. Hopefully I don't have to slam my brakes for a wreck, which... You know, I probably will, actually, but hopefully if I need to, I can hold on to it. It's kind of the trade-off. Like, I really want that extra rotation on braking rather than using the steering wheel. But that's uh, probably going to spin me around if I have to slam on my brakes for an accident. But if I have to do that anyway, I'm probably in a bad spot at Bristol. Because it's going to be hard to slow down in time. Regardless... Let's just hope we don't have to deal with that. Anyway, one to green. We're going to be following the five. Put ourselves in the correct gear. Which I've learned is second gear. Because that was much better of a start last time. We'll see where the uh, five wants to jump now that he's the control car. About to go green, stay focused. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Green flag. Oh my goodness. Ah. Here we go. It's unfortunately what I was kind of thinking. It's going to happen. Pull out of this. Let's see, it looks like a uh, whole bunch of people back there. Laps down or damaged. I see people in the pits. Then you're trying to figure this out, I guess. Eventually we'll learn how to drive without crashing, I hope. <laughs> Car six, got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Technically, if I can say it. Five, car, letter, six, car, <laughs> Beforehand, he was telling me, like, oh, he had a good race. They so only had three yellows. <laughs> and this is our third yellow, I believe. So maybe it goes green to the end here, right? Yeah, we'll see about that. Full course yellow, pits are open. True. At least I can have something to do while we're pacing here. Mark back there in third, chatting with us. Five ahead, I think, was worse on his tires early on, and we're going to be right behind him. I could be wrong, though. Maybe I'm just uh, underdriving it and plowing the right front. 
just as badly or something. Let's try it again. One to green here. One left to green. You're on the outside this time. We're going green next time by. We're on the outside this time. Crew chief says, as if we're not always on the outside. Even that a single file. So I guess we could technically have uh, lap cars, right? If they chose to come up here or something. Get ready, going green. Get away. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green, 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 green. That goes pretty early that time. Can we get some laps in? Is the question. Uh, we got a sorry up there. Is that a sorry I wrecked you? No yellow yet, so maybe not. I think the 5 might have just uh, nearly spun it or something. I saw some smoke, but I was looking at the apex, not at him. Which is what I should be doing, right? <laughs> We're quickest at the moment. I feel like I'm definitely faster than he is. I'm not really pushing hard at all right now. Feels like I'm okay. making up ground. Might want to be a little easier on exit, though. I might be over driving the exit. So I think I'll try to ease on the throttle a little bit more. Be patient with it and such. Very tempting to just slam it, though. I did it last time, too. That uh, run behind makes me think that I'm overdriving it. Got lap traffic coming up ahead. That's a little concerning, given that uh, we've had some cautions already happen back there. You never know uh, if those guys are having trouble holding on to their car or have got damage that it's going to make it tough to navigate the way they want. So I have to keep an eye on who we're approaching and how we get around. Not gonna, I'm not going to be impatient getting around the 5. I don't want to kill my tri tires fighting him if he's going to fight for it or anything. Oh, he's going to hit the wall. Unless that was net code, That might have been net code, Picking me. You've just done a 17.0. It feels good. I'm feeling okay with how I've uh, driven it so far. We'll see how I feel later, but as of right now, are still turning well enough. Even while kind of taking it easy, being patient with it. Yeah, 
lap time was at 17.1. I don't want to dive it on him. I don't think that's necessary. Car outside. Still there. Outside, clear, outside. You're in, the You're in third. That lap was Still there, empty. clear, Three. outside if you want it. Alright, we make the pass down low. Make sure I get on those brakes hard and get on them early so that way I'm slow by the time I get to the corner. Let the banking carry me as much as it'll allow. And then once I'm more than halfway through the corner is kind of when I start getting back on the throttle. So by that point, hopefully, uh, we're at a position where we can uh, get on the right rear instead of just shoving into the right front tire. That's the theory, anyway. That's my hypothesis, I should say. Still have to do the experimentation before it can be established as a theory, he said, being a freaking nerd. <laughs> Loving 19. this long run, though. Seems like uh, maybe we will only have three cautions. That'd be funny. Oh my god. Real car flipping through the air, or is that net code car flipping through the air? I assumed net code, and thankfully I was right, because otherwise I was driving right into it. Not really what you want to see, though. Going around the corner, car doing triple backflips. I gotta ease up my entry and going a little bit too hard. This ought to be fun. We got lap traffic too wide up ahead. just be very patient. It's gonna go bottom. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. That lap was at 17.5. Inside. Stay high. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Still inside. Okay. That was a 18.7. Stay high. Clear Get inside. Get out of my way, stop blocking me, or...? Car inside. Stay high. Still there, inside. Okay, we Clear. survived. That certainly got scary. He just kept drifting up right in front of me. The outside line. I'm very thankful it's marked behind us, because some other guys might see that as an opportunity to send it three wide or something, or stick their nose where it doesn't belong, and uh, cause a crash. But he was patient, and I appreciate him for that. Raced him enough times now. He's a pretty good driver, and uh, knows what he's doing. Keep high. Slow car down low. Oh no. Slow car down low. Clear. Caution, please. Inside. Clear inside. And Mark just got wrecked. The car outside. The gap behind is now 0.9. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Oh, clear high. Caution, but I just saw the lap car just drift right up into him.
Is that the guy that did it? And he's asking what the deal was? Because the deal was you drifted up into him, I think. Could be unrelated. I didn't see the name or anything like that. That lap time was 17.4. And uh, of course I could be wrong. Uh, I'm just judging by what I saw briefly in the my peripheral looking into the mirror above while I was driving. So, could have seen it wrong, definitely. Got an seven car overtaking Clear. very quickly. He's on new tires. Why did he pit under green? That's kind of weird. We have enough fuel. Is it actually faster to take tires? That would be interesting. I wouldn't expect so, but he sure is flying, and it's a pretty short track. Maybe there is something to that. No way on this planet I am trusting these people to stay green, though. So I'm going to be staying out the whole way, and if... Uh, if if they pull that Hail, Hail Mary off, then uh, good good on them. Okay, it's when he's going to block the fast line. That's fine. We'll cut down past it. At least he's predictable. That's all I can really ask for. As long as they pick a lane and then stay in it, I'm A-OK -okay with it. It'll be then my job to get by safely. Halfway home, we've got plenty of fuel. The gap behind is now not Car feels great. This is a fun drive too, actually. Car never really wants to turn here. Okay. It's wow. combo. But uh, as long as you're aware of that, you can back up your corners, let it roll, let the banking carry you, and then get back on the gas at the right time. All is well. Got back on the gas a little early there. Don't want to do that too much. That lap time was Definitely put a little bit too much pressure on the right front doing that. Inside. 18 keeps it low. Clear inside. Very well done, thank you, sir. Guys ahead getting pretty close to that wall. I'm gonna have to watch out for that. Because uh, if they get in the wall, it could be right on my front hood quicker than you might think. Gotta be uh, very ready to evade. So far, so good, though. We're over halfway already. Mark is hanging out back there about a second back. So, he uh, easily could come find us with better tires later. So, I'm not feeling all too comfortable. Could be biding his time. He obviously lost a bunch of time just because of that accident he had. But I'm sure he doesn't have any major damage. These cars can get away with a lot. Being beasts of pure metal. <laughs> Twelve in the wall. Two so gonna slap the wall. I was really afraid he was gonna come get me. That lap was at seventeen point seven. Made that corner really bad, but at least we didn't get hit. How about the screen run though? This is awesome. Not without its uh, excitement. Lots of fun. Inside. Clear inside. Outside. Just gonna be patient. Wait for my opportunity. No three wide necessary. Why is the 13 all the way down the track? Questions to ask. Wow, he's really keeping it low out of the corner. That frightened me quite a bit. That helps Mark catch all the way back up to us. 
I guess he got around him much easier. That still feels great, though. Love having that break bias all the way back. Kind of hard to tell if it's doing much, but I really do feel like uh, we at least get a little bit more turn on entry. Having it back there feels like it pulls a little to the left, and that's, uh, I guess it adds up, you know? Even if it's a small effect, going, a lot of, going around a lot of corners here in these 125 laps. Ooh, that's a hard hit. Right in front of me. Where is he gonna be? Be in the racing line. That's where he's gonna be. It's fine. Clear round. Sixteen knows what's up. He'll go to the inside. Actually, I think I recognize the sixteen. He said hello before, I think. So hello to him. <laughs> if he's the person I'm thinking of, I think he's like commented in on my videos before. I might be thinking of a different person, but <laughs> either way, hi. <laughs> Even if you never see this. Finally get a little bit of a break from lap traffic. Got some space ahead, which is nice. Lapping up to fifth place. Coming up. Mark's still back there lurking. He's not letting me get relaxed. Doing what he needs to do to keep the pressure on. I still feel pretty good. Still hitting pretty consistent laps, I feel like. Been able to avoid getting into the wall or anything. A couple taps from lap cars I think we've had. Having to be smart about where I'm sticking my nose. It's lost us some time every once in a while, but it didn't crash our car. <laughs> Plus caution or anything, which is a much bigger reward. Patience pays off, I think, when you look at it that way. Reaching another group of lap traffic here, and they're side by side. That's the first time I've pushed that bad. It almost hit the wall. So let me make sure I'm backing down enough. You've just done it. 17.6. Car outside. Outside is clear. Patient. On throttle. Oh, we got some movement up ahead. Easy now, everybody. This has been a very fun long run. I think we're doing a great job. Car inside. Clear inside. Seven in the wall. Gets it out pretty quick though. Yeah, Alex goes low. Clear. Much appreciated. No idea where the seven's trying to be. Outside. Stay low. Stay low. Outside is clear. We're getting around him.
Alright, got that done. Mark's right behind us though. Does he have better tires? Is he going to start flying past as soon as he decides to push it? Can't say for certain. We don't know what he's got. Pulling away a little bit at the moment though. That makes me feel a little bit better. Though I think that's just the normal ebb and flow of the race. Here's the five. He was your leader early on. Can't believe we're coming up on him. Makes me feel pretty good about my tire saving that we're able to do that. Inside. Clear inside. Car inside. Wrapped right in. now. Car outside. You're in the middle. Three wide. Jesus. Clear, too hard. Clear high. You just died. Can't wait around too long. Mark's right there. Clear outside. to be smart about that. We're just so trapped on the outside. But that is the name of this race. How are you able to navigate lab traffic while still uh, keeping the tires happy? I think those are the keys to this race. Oh my gosh. Oh, also, key of the race, don't be in the caution. That's really cool. You've got some damage. Let's get that fixed. Pete Road is now open. Pits are open. That's really cool. Catch the pace car. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. Car 11. Got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Well, I couldn't pit there because someone was sitting right in the lane on the way. So now we're gonna lose a bunch of spots. Oh my god. Super cool. Pit lane speed limit is 35 miles per hour. Make sure the pace car is in front of us. Very fun, very neat. How bad's our damage? Brown behind is pit. Three, two, one. Right here. The top. I had them muted, so I don't know. If anyone was saying anything. I don't know. Can we get the required done before the pace car comes around? Probably not. I didn't get a black fire right now. That sucks. I mean, I should be ahead of you. Yeah, that's strange. Mattis behind is pitching now. And the game will let me get screwed over because not only did they hit a car, but then when they were in the pit lane, the car decided to try to drive down the pit road and that blocked him. Yeah, I'm going to lap down now too because of required repairs. Yeah, I mean, you had a great race going. It was a lot of time with you, man. I really hate seeing you get taken out like that. I wish I could have been up with you there with you guys, but I got three laps down right at the beginning of the race. For, uh, black flags. It's telling me my earthly down. What the hell? It's stupid. What? When we tried to go down pit road, what the heck is going on? I don't know if you can hear it. 
It's fine, you got loads. Pit box in. Ten. They're showing us the black flag. You passed under what? yellow. What? Passing under yellow? Like, a couple laps down. I'm about to throw Five, in front row. Let's restart. Two, one. One. I, no, I, I didn't get a unsafe hit in tree, or actually, or in tree, I don't think, so... I don't know. I, I don't know why I'm talking about it. I don't know why I'm talking about it. I've had that happen before. Where there Should have unchecked tires. This race is falling apart. Now I've got passing under yellow, even though it was exactly where iRacing said I needed to be, so that's an extra layer of fun. Green now, I guess. Yeah, I have no idea what happened to there, but okay. 0.5 seconds. Took away a shot for me to race for a win. So, we gotta come pit. Watch your speed limit in the pits. You got plenty of fuel. Pit box team. 10. Turn off all service. Oh, cool. Thanks, guys. More wrecking. Five, three. Two. One. Right here. Go, go, go! Yeah, that's not bad. I have hey, no idea what I'm doing there. Pit Road is closed right now, half past 13. Car, what a disaster. Five, we had the race one, I think. I mean, Mark obviously would have had some to say, probably. Just gonna try, but. Half past 13. Car. We're under caution. Pits are closed. No idea what lap I'm on. Apparently, I'm on 11th, I guess. Three laps down. The way they can think of it is you have to hit a yellow line that is way out on, um, like, it will be 40 years to the committee line. Is that doing anything? Yeah, that is a thing. You have to go past the first cone, like 20 feet before the actual line. Okay, maybe that's why I got hit with the uh, the penalty when, when that guy when that guy came on the track that one the one I went up and then are back down, so I probably and you didn't even tell me anything. So I don't know. That was weird. It, well, if you triggered that, it would give you the unsafe pit entrance under your black flag. Which it didn't, so I just, I think, I guess he just had an issue. Oh, well. Listen, for the sake of it, do you want to uh, put this in there? They need to know that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely going to review it, and uh, after the race, see what happens. That was really just weird when I came in at the one, and I got, you know, I told uh, three and ten for the lap of me to go by, but then, like, five laps of the car, so I really didn't know what happened. Because I thought I would be able to stand up for a second, laying down myself, I'm just going out for to go, and then it dropped me all the way back to the pit, you know, at all. So I don't well, know this race has been I ruined. Know. Yeah, it's like, if I did something wrong, I just want to know what I did it on, because nothing indicated that I well, misadventure from something. Well, I mean, am no, no, I no mistaken, or did we just, that last week, we had a bunch of lap down cars on the outside line? We did, and I also just wasn't sure exactly where it wanted me, so I just kind of backed up and was like, you know what, I'm just going to say inside out and whatever, and so I had to bring black and start past people, because I just did not know if it was going to black back me again. One left to green. Line up on okay, the inside. Contact. Get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. I'm going to be holding the bottom line. I've got some damage. I don't know how bad it's going to slow me down, but I'm going to hold it down here. Yeah, you're fine. And it's a little torn up. Hey, you see that man? Yeah, very, very strong. I wish I had voice chat on at the time. It was muted. I don't know if anyone was saying anything. Like, people stopped and cornered whatever, but... Yeah, well... Yeah, there's no indication until we saw it. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green, 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 green. Let's go. Tenth 
position. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Oh boy, this thing's bad. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Go low. The yellow flag is out. Okay. Single file. I don't know what happened there, man. I was holding that control car. I think the 19 glitched up and down the units closed on me. This thing's nearly undrivable. I'm lucky I didn't get or the twelve didn't cause a wreck here. They were glitching around my screen and also I saw you between their ten. Catch that twelve. Well obviously we're not lucky dog. No wave arounds in this series. So Yeah, I'm net coded up trap in the middle corner. I definitely What are we looking at? Uh, I'm in low, and then he slid back down. Yeah, it was weird for me to turn all sounds on glitching to me, so I thought about the impact on all sounds on him in front of me, it was fun. And then I hit him, but he's fine with nobody hitting him. Gonna have to, uh, pay it. I'm too damaged. Sorry, Six, I couldn't, I couldn't check up in time, I was on the brakes fully. What a disaster. Yeah, I probably didn't cut it into him. On my screen it just looked like he got loose, and I went low when I saw him. And then, and then you tried to brake test me, like, what are you doing? So yeah, I probably net cut it into him. You can't talk, but yeah, you net cut it into him. Look out for the pit speed limit. It's such a bummer. We had like such a great run going, and if we just kept it to the end, it would have been fine. Five. Is that the two to go? Three, two, one. Yeah, I mean, it was great right racing here. with you there, man. I mean, I uh, I was definitely pushing, but also saving time to try to get runs. But it was a lot of fun just racing with you, trying to see what would happen. Yeah, it was fun. We were like navigating lap traffic, just trying to be easy, but also gain time. I think that was pretty cool. But oh well. Yeah, I was uh, content thing behind you for about until fifty to get those. At that point, I wanted to try to pass you until that point. I wanted to let you have to work on the traffic and then use up your stuff. But um, but yeah, that was fun. Hopefully, you get your stuff one later this week because you had a great run going. Line up, single file. Yeah, I figured you probably still had some in the tank. I was not uh, <laughs> assuming I was. It was a given at that point. Catch up, eleven car. Yellow. Open. Hopefully this thing drives a little bit better. I just I could not keep on the track the way I was. I think I was turning right in the corners. It felt like. Oh, you let that car go to drop back here. Hopefully we're able to get organized. One to go. Next time by. Staying by the 18. At the end of this lap. Should be telling you I'll drop back, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it did, but. Yep. Oh my goodness. What are we doing? Ah. <sighs> Nobody knows where they're supposed to be. About to go green. Stay focused. What is this? Post car is off. Green, 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 green. Car inside. Ten to go. This time by. Clear. Oh my god, this thing's terrible. All right, Colton, the next car is first. Oh my god, this thing is wrong. <laughs> this wheel is turned just the completely wrong direction. It's like I'm driving upside down. Oh my god, it's so hard to describe how bad this is right now. <laughs> All right, well, we're wrecking people, so... This is so close to being a good race.
I'm not gonna pass the guy ahead. It's a lap ahead of me, so no point to that. Very close to the end of the race, anyway. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell, like. Uh oh. Good win. Somebody got loose overcorrected and that was the end of it for Checked up in so turn, close to being a good race. I hate that. Turn uh, four, sorry. I'm at a long green line of green. Wait for you to restart the out. Oh. Pick on the dog. You've been driving like a really all race. I guess we, at least we the back. only I got a 4x. But I didn't get tired or anything. We'll get 12th, which is 80 I rating down, which is terrible, but... By the time you had the caution, you were, I think, less than 3 things behind us, so you had a shot still to catch us, but... Yeah, we should have had that weird ass funny happen to me, because I might have won this thing, but not a lot of fun, but yeah, good race, good job setting it there. Yep, I was, I was worried there for a second. Yeah, 16 rounds, I think it's a class, and then stop the car and dump that. Is this the end, I think? Should be. Cross the line. Here we go. Work it. Oh, sorry, I wasn't trying to hit you that hard. I was trying to give you a good Actually, 11th. That's interesting. Alright. So 70 I rating lost only. Wowzers. Hooray. Ah, <sighs> sucks. I still had fun too, just because that long run was so much fun. But just a super disappointing end to the race. And take a look at uh, some of the things that happened. Try to go quickly through the wall hits and all that. But gonna get some wrecks early on.